Captain Miley. Uh, How's business? Ah, sure, you know. No. Well, no, I Blackie, if I said to slow, I should mean there was kind of some form of movement, which there isn't. I would say uh, at a standstill would be more near the truth. Is that that? Ah, sure, yeah. Do you not think they're a bit overpriced, mate? They're the same price as they were last year. I'm sure that's what they're charging below in Bray and in Greystones, isn't it? I know, yeah, but do you think you'll reduce them the day that's in it? It's Christmas Eve. Oh, oh God, no, no, couldn't do that. They'll stick up the signs in the last few left, knock the tenor off. Oh, no, Blackie, that wouldn't be fair, though, would it? Well, they're not with you. Well, like, the thing is, the thing is this. Say, that somebody comes along here, and they bought a tree off me last week for 20 quid. And then they see the identical tree here for sale today for a tenner. Now, that wouldn't be. They'd feel a bit cheated now, wouldn't they? Suppose. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. You know, like the tree should cost the same no matter when you buy it or sell it, you know? Like the first shall be last and the last shall be first. And, uh, that's an old saying out of the Bible. Well, I'm not surprised. Mm. Anyway, lucky we never die the winter yet. What if somebody made you an offer for the lot? <laughs> Go on. You see, that way, you wouldn't feel worry about anybody feeling cheap. Uh, so would you sound like if, 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 if somebody came along here now and bought a lot of meat for, let's say, a, a ten or each or thereabouts, huh? Or a fiver each. <laughs> fiver? Well, you'd have to take it or leave it, wouldn't you? Oh, well, I don't know about that, no, you know. The way I see it now, I'd be doing you a favour. Not the easiest things to flog the wrong side of Stephen's day. Well, uh, true, true, they're not, they're not. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, that's me final offer. Oh, well, Blackie, hold on now. Uh, how would you say to... to what about six? This is your hair, man. Uh, well, what do you say? Right, so. It's a deal? It's a deal. Good man. We'll load them up and count them at the right, 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 yes, right. Now. How are you? Oh, how are you, Michelle? Oh, dead late. How's your mummy? She's grand now, she's her own travel. Oh, grand. A few complaints from the nervous, Michelle. Oh, why is that? They're nothing serious. Oh, great. Anyway, happy Christmas. Right, happy yeah, Christmas. you too, you too. Who's that? Oh, Venetia. Another new car. Ah, yeah. Ah, sure, she changes about two, two or three times every year, you know. Right. Sorry, 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 Jesse. Ah, uh, you're okay, you're okay. I'm meeting Seth coming back. Oh, yeah, I guess it's... Oh. Will you be able to put your feet up tomorrow? You joke. I mean, mine shouldn't be busy stay of the year. Oh, I thought your fellow was very good around the house. Yeah. <laughs> when it suits him. Uh, it's uh, Dick Morn for you, Michelle. Oh, okay, thanks, Cheesy. Do I, uh, do I sense a little marital trouble there? Ah, no, no, I know. The course of true love. Isn't that disgraceful, this hour of a Sunday morning? Of course you it is. I'll give them a piece of my mind. Look, just find out what they want, Miner. Yes? Venetia Crosby, for teasing my date. Ah, oh, come on in, Venetia. Hello. It's about the cake of stout. Do you want to know? Oh, no, no, no. I'll send a man down for it later. I want to settle up with you now. The cake is stout. It's for the black velvets. I find the bottle stuff doesn't mix as well with the champagne. H have you met Miley clean? Delighted. Oh. You're married to Terry's father. Yes. I'm still trying to make the right connections around here. Now, we're having a little cocktail party today. Five until eight. I'd love you and your husband to come. Oh, well. Now, 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 I'll be cross if you don't come. You'll be there, Michelle, oh, yes? Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, Marvellous. Now, I've heaps to do yet. That's me today. Dash, dash, dash. See you all later. Bye. Oh, see you. Bye. <laughs> well, I say, more money than sense. Ah, she's a very nice woman. Yeah. Ah, all the same. It's sad to see the real quality gone out of that house. Teasy. I need an hour. Ah, oh, come on now, my friend. No, 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 I'm sorry, Jesus. That, that, that was Dick on the phone. He wants to meet the kids and Kevin there. Like, right now, I don't know. It's all very mysterious. Well, you won't be long. I won't. I swear. I swear. I'll be back before the crowd. Now, listen, don't let me down. I won't. I won't, Cheesy. It's a bit embarrassing, all the same. No, but did you give him a present? Yeah, but just a token. Well, maybe that's not his. Oh, I don't know. It didn't look like that. I mean, he went to great trouble with the wrapping and presentation and everything. Nice that in a young man, all the same. Shop assistant probably did that. Oh, trust you to take the romance out of it. Oh, romance, is it? Well, yeah. I mean, you sure you've no feelings for this fellow? Of course not, don't be silly. Still all the same if I had nothing better to do on a wet Sunday. <laughs> it's all right, I'm only joking. <laughs> anyway, it's not my fault if he fancies me, is it? Oh, Ma, hmm? we have to talk about tomorrow. 
What time can we expect you? Um, well, I'm not sure I... Look, as I tell you what, we'll talk about it at Phoenicia's. I have to dash. Dick's unveiling some sort of surprise. Well, I just hope it's a present for me because I could do with some sort of gesture from him at the moment. Bye. Well, I was hoping Mary would be here for this, but we can't hang around. Yes. Oh, come on. I have something for you. It's so old, isn't it? Come on, over to the paddock. Was she giving him a sheep for Christmas? <laughs> well, what do you think of him? He's great. Well, happy Christmas. He's mine. All yours. <laughs> That's amazing! Come here, oh, come here. Dick, you're great. You made that with your pony for Christmas. Do you not know? Well, no, not really. Right, ma'am. Thanks very much. Happy Thank you. Christmas here. Happy Christmas, you. God bless you. Right, Johnny, that's the lot. Load her up and let's move out. Well, you got rid of the lot. Every last one. Isn't that peculiar now? What's peculiar? Well, now there's Miley Bourne selling Christmas trees for £20 a piece. And you're selling the exact same trees for a tenner. I'd like to know how you do it. Well, we have a much simpler lifestyle, Mr. Brown. Well, I hope your trees were got legally. Of course they weren't. What? Well, you knew that when you bought one, didn't you? <laughs> Happy Christmas, Mr. Brown. I love it here. I know. Just love it. Not and it's not even double glazed. The peace. It's only heavenly. Ah, yes. Christmas in the country. Like a dream come true. I never thought that was something you craved. Oh, but it wasn't. That's the whole point. It's only when I saw it, I realized it was exactly what I wanted. We could be happy here. What about the kids? Oh, they do love it. There's so much to do. Tennis, horse riding, the beach is only down the road. They could bring their friends down at the weekends. You know how they all feel about boring suburbia. I made my money out of boring suburbia, so don't knock it. You won't, will you? Don't worry. We've made a good impression here, and I'd like it to last. Well. Mm. Can I? Mm. Mm. Just to hear my mates. Look, I said no. But, Mom, Grandad said I could come and go any time I wanted. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you later. Yeah, okay, Jacket. Okay. Nice one, Mickey. Thanks. Ah, oh, well, he's dead excited. Can you blame him? No. Got his own pony. Oh, still can't believe it. Maybe Andy Coltop is going to seem insignificant now. Oh, I don't know. I think he's gone off football. Surprise. I don't think so. This is gonna be the makings of Ricky. Yeah. Okay. You don't approve of this, do you? I didn't say that. Oh, come on, Kevin. It's not my cup of tea, that's all. Well, that's true. Look, I think it was very generous of Dick to give him a pony. Wasn't it? So what are you wearing to this party? What's wrong with the way I am? <laughs> don't start me, Kevin. Wow! Did you know you were getting it? What a present! Hi, Terry. Oh, hello, Dick. You're getting a few last one of things, yeah? Yeah, bits and pieces, you know. Crazy time, isn't it? Yep. It's going anywhere interesting. Yeah. Really? Dick, I believe Belly Bullen is up for sale. That's right. You got the inside track on that? Well, I do know they've turned down an offer of 225. I see. Why, are you interested? You might be. You'd make a wonderful help. You know, I think you'd make a go of that. Is it an auction? Yeah, 17th of January. I must find a friendly bank manager. <laughs> is there such a thing? Me, there is. Actually, I'm going up to Valley Bowl this afternoon. Oh, so am I. Venetia's cocktail. cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you there. Across a crowded room. 
Very pleased with the crowd. Well, like I said, more money than sense. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, Mina. Oh, yeah, very, very, very nice. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but she has gone to a lot of trouble. And it's pretty bad to become. Uh, uh, yeah, but this isn't kind of Michael's scene, Terry. I suppose not. Anyway, he's having great fun getting Christmas together at home with my friend. Now. Food is in the dining room and the drinks Hi. are over here. Thanks very much. You have the place looking lovely. Oh, thanks, Miley. And uh, the Christmas tree you have there, uh, is it smashing? Yeah. Marvellous bargain. <clears throat> Blackie Connors. Oh, gee. Hiya, folks. Hi. 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 I don't think I've seen so much gargle in one place before. Oh, yeah. Seems to be a great spread, all right. I'll yeah. drop by outside. Well, that's the way to do it. Yeah, I believe the one going around with the drink with the daughter. Is the fellow with the dicky boy, son? No, I, I think he's a cocktail. I'll have another one of those. You're sure they're very strong. I've only had three. Thanks very much. Don't forget, moments of word, huh? Now we're all here. Nice at you. Mary, you look ravishing. And Dick? As in from Black velvets? Oh, yeah, sounds good. I must find out. <laughs> Did this fellow tell you what he got his grandson for Christmas? What? A pony. Did you really? Well, big, fair play, fair play. Yeah. Did you enter this man with his money? <laughs> well, Kevin, I suppose you'd be joining the horsey set now, huh? Ah, uh, no, it's not really my saying, Miley. I wouldn't think it is, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what are we drinking here, Albert? Uh, just on you. Smells very much like Harvey Wallbanger to me. Come along, some people I want you to meet. Sorry about that. Uh, can I have a beer, please? Thanks. Come on, little Thanks. What did he say? He said, I suppose it was the question. Oh, no. What do you mean? He probably just wanted to go on Ricky's phone. It's going to be such a hard year for her. Yeah. With her leaving cert and everything. Difficult time for you, too. And you know, she's clever. She could do very well. I know that, Mina. No. Oh, let's see. If she doesn't get in this year, she can always try again next year. You've been very good through all this, Terry. Nonsense. I haven't done a thing. Dick. Dick. Yes, yes. You haven't been listening to a word I said. Yes, I have. Um, Should we put in another offer? Absolutely not. Are you sure? Yes, you'll end up bidding against yourself. Wait until the auction. Oh, what if somebody else puts in a bid? I'm be telling you. Hiya, Mina. I hope you're right. Trust me. Terry, everything all right? Lovely, thanks, Anisha. Hello, Dick. Hi, Terry. I've been here for the last two hours. Yeah, well, I wouldn't like to be first to leave. See, because it's not the fact that he spent all that money on everything. All the fact that he had to house and feed a pony is the fact that he didn't tell me. I'm sure I understand that. Because he's jealous of Patrick. Dick? That's why you started going back to the leisure centre. Oh, I think it was just he was used to having you at home all the time. I think I found a way to stop going there. It's really yeah. You have no excuse now. <laughs> Not a bad drop of stout. A fair drop of malt myself. Well, why didn't you get some? There's lashings of whiskey over there. Every time we have to make lashes, it just fills it up again. Oh, good. That's terrible. This must be the moustache of the month corner. What? And you must be Stephen Brennan, owner of what is laughingly called the local golf course. I beg your pardon? It's a first-class golf course. Were you ever on it? I don't play, myself. Well, I may drop in one day and have a drink at your clubhouse. You do have a clubhouse, don't you? No. Well, not exactly. Well, you see, I'm working on it. I've got a bit... You keep working on it, Did you hear that? I shall get nerve of him. I'll take no notice of Stephen. Just a poor fellow that can't hold his drink. But this party is for the song of the no, one voice, Come everyone, on, nice and quiet. Now we're going to have a song from Diddy Boy. We're going to have a song. Come on, Stephen. 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 Come
Jimmy now, Jimmy doesn't <laughs> want to sing, so don't force him to leave the man alone. No, no, Albert, please don't. There were four and twenty virgins at the ball of Inverness, and when the ball was over, there were four and twenty less. Now, Albert, there will be no more singing, and that is an end to it. Now I have spoken. Can I freshen anyone's glass? Um, uh, I, I think actually we should be going. I suppose we should. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The kids will be waiting for it. Oh, yeah. 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 You're not upset, are you? Why, why should I be upset? Ah, you must be Money Malone herself. What? <laughs> not exactly. I don't know if you've got the cockles, but you certainly have the muscle. <laughs> uh, right, I think we'll be, we'll be, we'll be hitting off. We'll yeah. be on our way. Right, go on. God, is it yeah. that time it already? Is, it is. It is. Uh, so we'll have to put the, the kids to bed, you know. Uh, Venetia, thanks for a great <laughs> night. For, all, for me. cocktails and the sausages and... The biscuits, uh, great light, and uh, the black cordroy, uh, or uh, the velvet rather, and uh, uh, we, we just have to go. Uh, but, uh, and if you don't mind me saying so, I think maybe it's uh, getting near bedtime for the man at the house as well. But again, thanks very much, and uh, good night, everybody, now. Good night. Good night, man. Good night. The ball was over. You go easy on that stuff now. Ah, it's my first decent drink. I've been driving people round all day. No, that was the nastiest piece of goods I think I ever met. Oh, Albert. Who oh, else? Yeah, he just can't hold his drink. Anyway, I don't know why you're so angry. I was the one that got insulted. That is why I was angry. It was not. What do you mean? It was because you didn't get to sing. Well, I... I always get to sing at Christmas. Well, sing now. Huh? I'd want to sing one for me. No, I won't. Yeah, you're no use. I only had to know that mourners were going to cancel their party. I what? Nothing. Oh, now, don't tell me you're going to start about how you want to go back to Spain. All right, I won't. What's to be done? Stop the turkey. Stop the one. I've been hard on you today. Yeah, well, you had your reasons. I'm still not over it, Kevin. Don't know if I ever will be. Yeah. I just don't understand it. From the minute I got the check, I got this, I don't know, a kind of a tingle of anticipation. Like a dry throat, sweaty hands. I knew I was going to lay it off. Why didn't you talk to me about it? Because it's, it's a secret, it's private, it's part of the buzz. I would just keep it in my pocket for a day or two. And then when I got to England, I thought, I'd really convinced myself that I was going to surprise you with a car. In my heart, I knew I was going to gamble it. And gamble until it was all gone. You mean it kind of took you over? Sort of possessed you? I had no control. That's how it feels. Oh, I swear to God, Mickey, I'm never going to do it again. Okay. Do you really think it's that simple? No. There we are. Yeah. Oh, well, have we anything for Santa Claus? Oh, you certainly do. What? Me? Oh, yeah. Fine Christmas cake for Santi. Very, very nice. Yeah. And uh, what about Rudolph? There's plenty for him. I, I brought in the carrot, I think. Oh, Where yeah. is it? There we are. Oh, God, it's fine. Big yeah. one. Oh, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. He's a Thank big you. reindeer, isn't he? Now, leave okay. the table there beside the mince pie. Yeah. Sad because we can bring it out to, to Rudolph. All right? Yeah. Now, and I, you know what I think? I think we should have a, a big bottle of porcelain and a glass of whiskey for Santa Claus as well. Don't you, please? <laughs> hmm? We will not. Why not? Do you want him crashing the sleigh and destroying oh, the reindeer? Oh, he's well used to a drop of porcelain, that man. <laughs> hmm? Now, we like the candle. Yes. All right. Match it there, Mary Ann, please. Mm, lovely. Yeah. You? No, you light it there, Billy. Oh, well, I, I'll turn up the light. Yeah. yeah. Just wondering. What? Nothing. 
Go on, what? Well, I know it's silly, but, uh, well, I'm dying to know what you got me. Well, I'm certainly wondering what's in here. It's enormous. <laughs> yes, I know it is enormous, yeah. <laughs> well, it's traditional to wait for Christmas morning, you know. Well, will we break with the tradition? Why not? Well, happy Christmas. Oh, thanks. Oh. Oh, thanks, it's lovely. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Can I? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It'll save you going out on cold winter nights. Thanks. You have the knack? Huh? With the wrapper? Oh, yeah. Uh, I can never make a fist with myself. <laughs> it's not what I call a highly specialized skill. Uh, just the same. Do you want another drink? No, no, no. I've had my share. Anyway, a man should go to bed sober on Christmas Eve. We should go to bed happy as well. Happy enough. Yeah, go away with us. Well, just, just <laughs> let me be and I'll be all right. There you are. Happy Christmas. All right. Thanks. We'll open it. I'll open it in the morning. You'll open it now. Two, uh, two airline tickets for Alicante. Yeah. A four weeks of Millie Joyce's bungalow. What do you say to that? I don't believe it. Happy Christmas, Billy. No, see, the thing is, Billy, you don't put grease or oil or cut in the turkey at all at all. Huh? Just butter. Butter. Yeah, you put a rake of butter on it, rake of garlic, then a sprig of thyme, and you wrap the whole lot in the uh, tin foil. Mostly. Yeah. And then, then you're away. <laughs> Sinful waste of butter, if you ask me. I don't know. I'd say it'd be very tasty. <coughs> I don't know. Should you like it? I'll try it. You will not. Hmm? I won't let you near the kitchen with ideas like that. You'll be a danger to yourself and others. I don't know. I'd say we might be missing out on something, you know. Look, why don't we do the turkey the way we always do the turkey? You always liked it before. Yeah, 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 I suppose so. Hmm. <laughs> Quiet. Mm. <laughs> Not like Albert and Venetius, let's. <laughs> I said they'll piss their turkey in vodka. <laughs> <laughs> turkey wall bagger, huh? <laughs> <sighs> I'll get, I'll get that. Hello. Oh no, no, she's she's not here. No. No, I've I've no idea when she'll be back. No. Well, well, uh, well, Connor, it's up to us to the gentleman out to, to say whether you can see Carmack or not over the trip. It's up to the gentleman, you know. No, no, we're we're not at liberty to say where she is. No, we are not. No. Huh? Happy Christmas to you too. A man himself. Yes, indeed. Home for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Looking for his little son, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Patrick. Yes, it's Mary Moore. Um, I just wanted to say Happy Christmas and uh, thank you for the beautiful present. It's really lovely. And, and, and for everything. And you can catch the repeat of Glen Rowe next Thursday on Network 2 at 7 o'clock.